What's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton. <clears throat> this is my channel. And I wanted to give you all a quick uh, story time. And this story time is a Mercury retrograde story time. Yep. I used to live in Seattle. Okay. And I moved from Oklahoma to Seattle. And most of the times, um, uh, when I went to Seattle, okay, uh, it, it, it was on vacation, or if I went after visiting my mom in Oklahoma, uh, I would ride with a friend of mine named Dawn, okay? I lost touch with Dawn, but she lived, and I believe she grew up in Seattle, so, but she was living in Oklahoma at the time. And, but some of the times I, I rode by myself, and this was one of those times, okay, where I had taken time off from work, went back to see my mom in Oklahoma. Now I was going back to Seattle. Well, I thought I was smart, so I can easily outmaneuver Mercury retrograde. So I thought. So I was taking the. I was younger, so I was taking the Greyhound bus at that time. Yes, Starburst coffee. Yeah. I was taking the Greyhound bus at that time. And anybody rode the Greyhound long distance, especially a two-day ride, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, okay, you know. Uh, so I get to the bus station. I'm almost home, which made it worse. Uh, coming from Oklahoma, I'm almost home. And I get to um, Portland, Oregon. Oregon, yeah. And we get there, and the guy tells me, oh, okay, there's going to be a slight delay on your bus, two hours. So I'm like, okay, well, he said Man, two to three hours. So I'm like, okay, no problem. So I decided to, to just, you know, put my stuff in a locker and take a walk around uh, Oregon. Beautiful country, beautiful, all right? And you know, of course, the bus station is pretty far out, so you have to kind of walk a little ways to really get a taste of it. And the guy actually warned me before leaving. He said, now, you have to understand, we have a very unique state. So this state has its own, it's very liberal in certain aspects where, um, they have many different types of religions and occults that, you know, they're very freedom orientated. Um, and you, you know, enjoy yourself, walk around, you know, get yourself something to eat, understand, you know, uh, be aware of different places that you, you know, may be going down, you know, don't, don't, don't wander off too far. So I was like, okay, so I did. And I really enjoyed it, walking around, okay. So I come back, and I'm waiting, I'm like, okay. I probably only got 30 minutes to wait, right? Lo and behold, the bus that supposed to have been there, something happened to it. So the next bus was not going to be there for another five hours. Yeah. So, I'm on a limited amount of money, okay, so I, that's why I didn't get a hotel. Uh, wouldn't know where to go to get a hotel anywhere at the area, but I'm on a limited amount of money. You know, I mean, I'm not completely broke, but, you know, I'm watching how much I spend. Luckily, they had these little TVs where you could put a quarter in and watch some TV, so I'm watching a couple, of, I'm about an hour to a TV, and I'm bored, right, and I'm walking around. So it gets nighttime, so I just stay in. So then they change shift. I go to another person, go up to the counter, and it's like, yeah, I heard this particular bus supposed to come in. And you got to understand, buses are coming in and out, just not mine that I need. So <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm waiting for a particular bus because she looks at the thing and she says, Oh, 
Worst thing you're going to hear. She looks at it. She goes, okay. The bus you need, because there were some incidents that happened on two other buses. The bus you need won't be here till tomorrow evening. Yes, that's right. I spent almost 24 hours inside and outside of the bus terminal waiting for the bus I need to get to Seattle. And if you understand, Seattle isn't really that far away from Oregon. Okay, it's not like that far away, but so I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Finally, I mean, fell asleep, woke up, fell asleep, watched the television, fell asleep. Oh my God. Finally, that time came. I got on my bus. I was able to get back home. I wasn't so I was so happy to see Seattle. I was so happy when that bus came and <laughs> y'all just don't understand. And I got home, washed up. And I was just, I uh, got my stuff and just relaxed in my apartment. It's just, I was home, man. I was home. I was in Seattle. I was home. Oh, man. And I remember it rained a little bit that day. And I was just so happy to hear it and see it. Because if you understand the Seattle, you know, rain is part, rain is part of Seattle. I was so, oh, man, I was so relieved. All right. It was just and that is one of my one of my many <laughs> retro uh, Mercury retrograde uh, story times, and it happened, and that has never ever happened to me while riding the uh, Greyhound bus. That was the only time when I thought I was going to outsmart Mercury retrograde, and I knew better, but I did it anyway, and that happened. Okay, never have that ever happened since or before that time. I was going to be smarter than Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll wrap to y'all later. Hope you enjoyed my story time. I ask you to give this video and any of my videos a thumbs up. Also, just to let you know, I don't throw a lot of ads on my videos. Okay, I have no control over that. If my videos are not over 10 minutes long, I have no control over saying that I don't want any ads or anything like that. Okay? That's on YouTube. I'll just let y'all know. That's on YouTube. If your videos are not at least 10 minutes long, YouTube will flood them with ads and you have no control. As a partner, you have no control of where they put the ads, how many ads they throw on your videos or anything like that. And I just want y'all to know that. Okay, so, because me, I try to cut down on the ads. If my video is at least 10 minutes long, I try to cut down on my ads. So you all won't be bombarded with tons of ads that you all don't want to see. Okay? And <clears throat> because this is a hobby channel to me, you know, I don't, I don't make my money from YouTube. So... It doesn't hurt me cutting down on my ads. Okay? It does not hurt me at all because it's not, that's not where I make my money. Okay? And uh, so I'll just let y'all know because I know some people were complaining. Some people were annoyed by it. But any, that, and that's the rule for any, any of the, uh, what you call it, um, videos on YouTube. If it's not 10 minutes long, YouTube have total control over how many ads you want floods with it, okay? The only exceptions to that is if someone is actually streaming. If they're streaming it and not and hasn't and not creating it but streaming that video, then they have control and you don't, you're not flooded with ads. But if they're not streaming it and they're creating it and it's not 10 minutes long, I'm sorry, you're gonna be flooded with ads. Whether they want it to, they want it or not, that's part of the deal with the partnership with YouTube. Okay. And I just wanna let y'all know that. Alright? So I'll wrap to y'all later. Peace.